All right, last up we have Justin Ross. Go ahead with a question. Hey, Justin, it's, it's David Hood. Uh, what, what has it been like for you being back at practice, putting the helmet on, putting the pads on, getting out there, running routes? What has all that been like for you? I mean, it feels good, man. I mean, just because just like a year ago, I was thinking like I wouldn't even be able to put on a pass again. So, yeah, it feels good. I'm, I'm very grateful. I'm taking advantage of every rep I get. What was it like for you the first time that you were able to, you know, put on the chin strap and, and, and the pads and, and go out there and, and run some routes? Um, it felt good. You, you, you're talking about this spring? Because I, I, I started back in the fall. I was out there in the fall running routes. Yeah, it, it, even back in the fall. Oh, yeah, it, it felt good. I mean, I, I, was, I was just out there smiling, man, because I, I, I realized how quick the game could be taken away from me. Justin, Brad from Clemson SI, from a mental standpoint, what has the last year been like as you, I'm sure, had questions and doubts and just concerns? So just from a mental standpoint, emotional standpoint, just kind of walk us through what the last year's been. Oh, good question. I mean, it's been hard, but I, I, I know I, I just put everything in God's name. Just like my grandma always tell me, just put it in God's name and let them work. So I just put everything in God's name and just – and just went on and did everything the doctors told me to do, everything my coaches told me to do. I just went with it. Justin, Pete Nakes from ClemsonTigers.com. What's the time? What's the timetable on your return? Like, what, are you fully cleared? When When do you hope to get the full clear? Uh, what What's the timetable on that? Um, I just had a doctor's appointment like a week ago or so, and I, ha I have another one in June. So that that'll be that'll be the, the last one. Hey, Justin, it's Josh from Charleston. A year ago, you were thinking you weren't going to possibly be able to put on pads again. How did, how did you kind of wrestle with that? One more time for me. Just when you said a year ago, you thought you might not be able to put on pads again. Kind of how low did you get there um, emotionally and kind of how did, how did you kind of try to live with that? I mean, at first, at first it was kind of hard, but... After talking with my family and everything, and 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 finally and finally finding the doctor that that um had to do the surgery, I, I, I felt a little better because the doctor gave me a, a lot of confidence. Hey Justin, this is Will I'm with the Clemson Insider. I uh, just wanted to ask you, um, you know, how good do you feel? I'm, I'm assuming you feel pretty good about going into that meeting in June with the doctor, what he's going to say and everything, correct? Oh yeah, I feel I feel real good going to the meeting. Everything should go as planned. I should. I'm gonna be ready to play ball whenever he tell me. Whenever he tell me. Hey, it's David again. What was it like for you in the in the days and the day of you know leading up to the surgery? What kind of things were going through your mind, and and who went up there with you to to kind of help you get through it? Uh, I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I was I was a little scared just because I I know it's a major surgery, and I know I, I ain't never had no big surgery like that, but. My mom went up there with me, it was just me and her. So, I mean, I, 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 felt, I felt a little better just having her. Justin, it's Lou Bajak from the state. Who have you leaned on during this time? Any uh, players, former teammates or anything? Who, who's who been the most supportive and who have you gone to the most uh, during this time? Um, Really, really just, just, my, just my mom and grandma, for real. I, I mean, I, 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 I do, I like to do a lot of stuff on my own just, just to see like if I can get through it. Yeah, I've been, I've, been, I've been getting through this a, a good little bit, but I, I, I know I know I got all the support that I need when I need it. Hey, Justin, this is Will again. Did uh, did you reach out to Mike Williams or uh, that he went through this similar thing that you did? Yeah, me. Yeah, when when, when it first happened, me and Mike talked a little bit. He, he was just telling me that it's a part of life, bro. I mean, never question God and just just always just just have faith, bro. That, that's all. That's all he could tell us. Bro. Justin, uh, Brad, again, how have you transitioned into that that slot role, and, and, and how much of that really is full time? Do you really think you're going to be playing there in the fall? Um, uh, yeah, that's yeah, that's what it's looking like right now. I mean, I, I, I like it though. I, I I played the slot a little bit. Um, my freshman year a little bit, they moved me around. It was setting me up in the slot, but I feel like it'll be a great advantage to me. And I'm and, yeah, I'm probably going to be there in the fall. You say it gives you a great advantage. What what advantage is that? Um, 
linebackers, a couple slow safeties or whatever. Just just, just having them just having that advantage just to go against the, uh, just to go against slower opponents, I guess. Justin, again, um, what do you see from the rest of the receiver group? Um, well, what stands out? Who stands out uh, for, from this group uh, around you? Um, just, just, how, just everybody from top to bottom, just, just, just elite. Everybody, everybody's working their own craft. Some people can't do what other people do, so they're they're working they're, they're working to do what they can. Do. So they 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 working their craft, and I feel, I feel like we're gonna be a great group to come through. Justin, this is Grace Rayner from The Athletic. Do you have any long-term concerns or any fears about potential injury in the future if you return to football? No, nah, not at all. Not at all. I feel like, I feel like if, if a doctor have enough confidence to put me out there, then I'm going to be able to play for a long time. I'm sorry if you've already been asked this question, but the actual play when you found out in spring practice, I think Dabo said you were ran, running um, a slant and then just were kind of slow to get up. Can you kind of walk us through that? I'm really sorry if you've already been asked this. Um, no, I haven't. But, um, yeah, I, yeah, I ran a slant and it was man coverage. The uh, running back did a wheel and I was running the slant. Me and the linebacker just collided so, and got, got a little stinger. And it, it it was protocol for them to get the X-ray everything, X-ray everything through a spring, through a sting, through a stinger, and they had found it there. Justin Brad again uh, about um, a year ago, or at least last, uh, yeah, it was probably about a year or so ago. For the injury, really knew the details. A lot of people yeah. thought you could be a first round NFL draft pick. I know a lot of guys think you know coming out of high school, three years, and I'm gone. Uh, has that bothered you at all? I mean, have you thought about, you know, not being able to play in the NFL yet? No, nah, I mean, the NFL is going to be there. The NFL is going to always be there. My, I'm, I'm, I'm more concerned about my health. Justin, what have you been doing to try to stay ready? Have you been, like, watching more film than you've ever have? Is it is it mental reps? I mean, how do you approach that? Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a lot of mental reps. It's, it's, a lot, it's a lot of being in the film room, just, just, get, just getting the groove back because it, 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 it's been a whole – it's been – a whole year since I played ball, so yeah, it, it's just it's just trying to get that groove back and get get back familiar with the game. Do you take film more seriously? Like, are, are there different things that you might look for now since you can't really feel it out with pads on? Um, I, 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 I've always took film serious, but yeah, it it, it it is little smaller stuff that I, I can't notice since since I'm not out there actually like doing content and stuff. Justin, this is Grace again from The Athletic. When you did go up to Pittsburgh, I guess last June, was that surgery specifically for the bulging disc that Coach Sweeney told us about? Oh, yes, ma'am. Okay. Been watching you out at practice the other day, I, I kind of realized that you were maybe the old man of that group out there. You had a bunch of kids following you around. Yeah. Have you, you know, embraced that leadership role with, with a lot of these younger guys? Oh yeah, I, I love it. I mean, this 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 is like my this is like one of my first time really leading a group because all the other groups we I, I had T, Amari, Cornell, Lionel. But yeah, it, it feel good to actually finally lead, finally lead the group. Me, with, with, with me and Will Sweeney being the oldest out there, yeah, we we, we having fun with it. Coach Sweeney seems thrilled to have you back out there. He called you Colonel Mustard. You know, from from the game, what has his reaction been like? It looks like he's actually spent a lot of time with you out there. Oh yeah, Co yeah, Coach Sweeney, he, he he loving the process. He loving the whole process. That he, he loving my mentality through it and everything. So I mean, just just, just having him to lean on that that's that's a real big deal. Justin, at what point, I guess, through all of this, did you start to gain? hope that that maybe playing again would be realistic like was there a, a time when you felt like you were training in the right direction um really like um I, I, after I, after i talked to the daughter I, after i talked to the doctor for the first time he, 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 even bef even before the surgery just, just just how much confidence he had in me and that he that he can make this happen that that, that made me feel that made, that made me feel much better We understand that you kind of have to, you know, undergo like a checklist to get ready to play. And maybe that was the appointment last week to ask you how you're feeling. You know, is there any one thing that, that they're going to ask you in June or you're going to talk about in June that 
you know, as long as you're cleared here, you know, hey, I'm not having any pain or anything like that, that that'll be the final hurdle to get you to play. Uh, honestly, honestly, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what, what he's going to say in Zoom. I don't, I don't know, like, what, what he's going to be asking me and stuff like that. Justin, how long did you, uh, after the surgery, not be able to really do anything? And then how long did it take you to kind of get your, your stamina and your body back where you wanted it? Um, I say probably like I, I wasn't able to do nothing for about for about three months. I, I just had to sit down and just wait for a little bit, about three months, and then after that mark, I was I was able to lift a little bit, and probably around what it was like October, November, I was able to put a helmet on and, and able to run routes and stuff. So that's that's when I started to feel like myself. Justin, what was the um, what was the main purpose of the doctor's appointment this week, and was that one also in Pittsburgh, or was that one in Clemson? No, it was in Clemson. We we did it over Zoom. The, really, the main thing about this just the um just just a checkup for real, just to see how I'm doing. I ain't talked to him. In, I ain't talked to him in a minute. So, you know, just, just just a checkup for real. Anything else for Justin? Justin, how tough was last season for you? Like mentally, was it was it was it really tough not to be able to play? I mean, I mean like, was there a low oh, yeah. point for you along that journey? Was there a low point for you along that journey? Like, was there like a game that sticks out that really beat you up that you could be out there? I mean, yeah, I mean, I want to really, I, I ain't really let myself get down because I, 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 I know that can't help me. That they can't do nothing for me. But it, 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 it was it was hard. It was hard watching. Just sitting, just sitting on the sideline watching. I mean, it, it was my first time like ever missing a football season in my whole life. Any other questions? All right. Thanks, All right, Justin. Thanks,